Hi guys, I keep saying we need to stop listening to politicians on issues and start listening to experts. Lou Calvi, who works with refugees and asylum seekers and actually understands what's happening, schooled Tory MP Jake Berry on his talk TV show about the costs asylum seekers pay in order to get to the United Kingdom. The Tories and their supporters in the media have been pushing this line that people arriving on British shores have handed over thousands of pounds in cash to smugglers when the reality is very different. Here Lou explains the problem and how it can be fixed, but notice Jake's nonchalance response at the end. Let me ask you another question, if I may, because um, I know our viewers want to know this. The government is heavily focused, whether you think they're doing the right thing or not, one of the things the government is heavily focused on is stopping desperate people in Calais, in Belgium, in, in parts of Europe, falling into the hands of people traffickers and being trafficked over the English Channel, taking huge risks. And we've all seen the appalling reports of children dying in the Channel and, you know, especially people making that journey at this time of the year. I'm, I'm a sailor. I love sailing. I wouldn't go out in a boat at this time of year. It's an absolute terrible journey for someone to undertake. How much now are people having to pay when they're being exploited by these people to cross the Channel? Is there a fee? Is there... It, it, it varies and most people aren't paying um, money up front. What most people are doing is going into debt bondage. Yeah. Um, so they are uh, arranging uh, travel uh, only to have to work that travel off in, in awful conditions yeah. uh, following arrival into the United Kingdom. And it's ever been thus, even before small boat crossings when but you I, saw some I, I think it is tens age. of thousands or it's, it's, it's certainly thousands of, of pounds isn't it that people are taking yeah. on for debt bonding isn't, isn't I the would government like to see, can I just say though Jake can I just say you started that by saying that you know government is trying everything it can to stop hmm. uh, people falling into the hands of people smugglers and Jake you're not if you were trying everything you could you would simply open safe routes and allow people to travel safely to the UK. You could end people smuggling in an instant if you wanted to, but you're ch choosing not to. OK, well, that is certainly a viewpoint. Let me just... That's certainly a viewpoint. That's certainly a viewpoint. My goodness, OK. Well done, Lou, for correcting him here, explaining the real situation on the ground. Now, you know, it's not a viewpoint because it's reality. When it came to Ukraine, Ukrainians didn't have to cross the boat, cross the channel in small boats. They were able to arrive in the UK and they were able to stay in the UK. Why are people crossing the channel in small boats? Because there aren't safe routes. The Tories on the one hand are saying we want to stop the, the people crossing the channel because it's dangerous, because people are dying in the sea, uh, because we're humanitarians. We care about people. But they, we don't want to set up safe routes. Why? Well, because that would allow people in. <laughs> people are coming in anyway. They keep saying that, well, if we create safe routes, the numbers will go up. Do you care about people drowning in the sea? Yes or no? If you say, yes, we do, we care about that, then you would stop the people smugglers. How do you stop the people smugglers? from taking By taking away their business model. How do you take away the business model? By creating safe routes. It's simple. There aren't people smugglers when there weren't people smugglers when it came to Ukraine. People were not getting into debt bondage. Ukrainians were not working it off to pay it back to somebody in Ukraine who had smuggled them into the country. Just think about it for a moment. Now, what is the political policy here? The political policy, of course, is to keep racists and bigots in Britain happy so that they will continue to vote for the Conservative Party. Take a hard line so that they don't vote for Reform UK. Because if they actually presented a humanitarian policy, then they would lose support. It's that simple. They don't care about people dying in the sea. They use it as a political football. It's, it's disgusting, but that's the reality. Refugee and asylum seeker activists and representatives have been saying this for years. If you create safe routes, people will not need to rely on people smugglers. They will not end up in the black economy in Britain. Like you hear the right wing also complaining about people working in the black economy, that they're not paying taxes. Well, 
If you create safe routes, people can have a proper job where they pay taxes. But if, you, if they arrive in the UK and they're waiting for months and maybe years for an asylum claim to be processed, and they're not earning enough money to get by, then of course they're going to work in the black economy because they're not allowed to work. They're not allowed to have proper contracts. They're not allowed to work in a normal system. Now, I don't know if, if the Tories are trying to emulate what's happening in Italy, particularly in the South, where businesses, corrupt businesses, are happy to allow uh, asylum seekers to come in and not be documented. Because if they're documented, then they'll be treated like, <clears throat> excuse me, like ordinary workers, where they'll have ordinary workers' rights. They'll be able to form unions, they'll be able to uh, demand sick leave, things like this. But if they are kept in a, in a corrupt system where they're not pro provided any uh, benefits or any protections, then this helps these employers, this benefits these employers. And perhaps this is what's happening in the UK. I don't think it's directly a, a, a decision by the Conservatives, but they're happy to allow it to go on. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.